I came out to ask you something. What? I forgot. <laughs> Give me a hint. Mr. Haney's got an injunction. Well, if it is contagious, you shouldn't be standing close to him either. <laughs> One of the chickens must have made a mistake. A mistake? You're the only human. Where did this come from? I don't remember. It's been such a busy day. <laughs> What's the matter with the vacuum? Nothing. It's not making any noise. But it only makes a noise when it's plugged in. Well, if it's not plugged in, it's not going to pick up the dirt. There isn't any dirt. Well, why are you vacuuming? I am not. It's not plugged in. Mr. Thompson lists a few things here that a farmer should look for in a wife. She should be strong of limb, have good wind, large hands, and sturdy legs. If that's what you wanted, you should have married my father. What are all my clothes doing on the bed? I'm giving them to the old clothes sailor. That's my whole wardrobe. You're very generous. Why not? Lisa, will you stop bumping into me? Oh, your taillight isn't working. I'd take a little seed, a tiny little seed. I, I'd, I'd plant it in the ground, I'd put some dirt on it, I'd water it, and pretty soon, do you know what I'd have? A dirty little wet seed. Now, slowly step on the gas. Why did you make four different pots of coffee? Why didn't you just put the sugar bowl and the cream pitcher on the table? I broke them. <laughs> did you call anyone in Paris? Oui. How about Rome? Si. Vienna? Yeah. Haven't you ever used this? Oh, yes, to, to hold the door open. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. I can't mind it. Oh, this is one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You're talking Hungarian and she's talking Spanish and you understand each other? Of course. Oh, it's impossible. Oh, now you're against the United Nations. <laughs> Well, when you married me, you knew that I couldn't cook, I couldn't sew, and I couldn't keep house. All I could do was talk Hungarian and do imitations of Zsa Gabor. Who? What have we got here? Uh, this is Miss Hockney. She's a public stenographer. Uh, then why is she stenographing here in private? <laughs> I never saw corn growing until we moved out here four years ago. Come to think of it, I still haven't seen it. Well, maybe you better come along, too. Where are my handcuffs? Oh, I don't think you'll try and get away. I always do. I can't tell you her name because I don't want her father to know. That's strange. You'd think her father would know her name. He reminds me of you when we wanted to get married and you were trying to make money as a lawyer and you threw your first case. I didn't throw it. I lost it. The judge said the only way to lose that case was to throw it. Where did you come from? Oh, no, no, the Ardova. What did you say? Over there in the woods. Oh, you understand English? No, I was reading your Hungarian subtitles. <laughs> we are going to have to get new dishes. They shrunk. Oh, that's impossible. Dishes can't shrink. Can I to explain this? Lisa, you're a fairly sensible woman. Sometimes. You couldn't leave it alone. You had to put in the sometimes. What is this? A shirt sleeve shorts for the exam. <laughs> yes, I made it out of your best shirt. And, and would you put a big card on it saying happy birthday? Uh, from who? A friend. Well, he'll know who it is. He doesn't have too many. <laughs> Boy, what a grouch. That's what I get for marrying a man 68 years older than I am. 